Yo, what's going on guys? M1 here, bringing you a review for Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2. <sighs> Every time I say that game, I have to take a deep breath, I swear. Um, yeah, this game... You can sit this one out, John. I don't know, mixed feelings about this game. There's some stuff I like, some stuff I don't. But, that's for you guys to decide. I'll show you guys what I can, and you guys just go for it. So, uh, yeah, Star Killer on the left, General Coda on the right, and this game starts off with Star Killer waking up with a little case of amnesia, and when he comes to, he kind of breaks away from Darth Vader. He does remember that he was his apprentice and, you know, did some dirty deeds for him in the first game. So he remembers that much. He also remembers the fact that he had a love interest named Juno, so he'll be chasing her in this game as well. But... Darth Vader hired. Don't believe that I'm a clone. I think, yeah, he hired Boba Fett, and Boba Fett tracked down but Juno. I'm beginning to so that's another thing that Stark is going to have to attack. So, with the help of General Coda, which was well, it was that blind guy that was just shown. Um, those two, pretty much, um, you know, getting the job done. So I'll stop talking so you guys can hear Yoda instead of me rambling. Only a watcher, am I now? Then you'll let me pass. Brought you here, the galaxy has. Your path, clearly, this is. You know what I'm looking for. Something lost. A part of yourself, perhaps. That what you seek. Inside. You will find. Well, as, as far as the gameplay goes for this game, uh, there's some things that are good and some things that aren't. Uh, first off, I'll start by saying that if you guys want a good, fast-paced action game, uh, maybe look somewhere else. What this game does do well is the fact that, you know, it makes you feel like a real Jedi with some of the powers that they have. Uh, there's a new Jedi power called the... Actually, yeah, it's called the Jedi Mind Trick. And what you do is you lock onto an enemy and you kind of just send a command to them to either attack their squad or, like, jump off the building or something like that. It's, it's nothing really too crazy, but... That's one of the new things you have. You also have dual lightsabers, which is cool because the first game you only had one. Um, yeah, a good dash button. I've always said hack and slash games have to have a good dodge, roll, evade, or dash button, and this game does have it, which is good because, you know, some of these fighting scenes just get really frustrating and you just want to punch your TV, so thank God for that. Um, they got that much right. Uh, other than the actual combat, you also have, uh, I think that's it for combat, yeah, nothing too much in the combat. What does kind of piss me off is the fact that I remember when this game came out, uh, game developers were saying, oh, like, we're going to do everything we can to make you feel like a Jedi from the first game, and you're going to feel much stronger, like, no, it's the exact same shit, like, I, everything that I've done in this game, I did in the second game with the addition of one extra lightsaber, so I don't really, they, I think they kind of fell short on that end. Um, pretty much the same powers other than that new trick I just mentioned. You still have uh, to lock on enemies and, you know, toss them around, zap them with, with uh, electricity and all that stuff, so. Uh, yeah, for combat, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it, so. I mean, if you guys, it depends on what you guys want to do. For the actual final word, I would say it's, it comes down to whether you're a Star Wars fan or not. If you guys love Star Wars, obviously you'll, you'll love this game. And, you know, the story is kind of hectic, as all Star Wars stories are. And, 
yeah, some stuff gets lost, or it could just be me not paying attention because it's always it's always something. Uh, but what what's good is the fact that, like I said, um, the combat's faster, smoother. The cutscene graphics are really nice. Uh, limbs get dismembered. I think because the first game, a lot of you know, gamers complained that when you would you know completely go at it with somebody, like a limb or a head wouldn't fall off. In this game, everything falls off. It's all good. Um, Vader's in here, Yoda, Boba Fett, anytime you see those guys in a Star Wars game, I guess it, you know, it, it's a plus, you get to see them, them faces. Um, but yeah, as for the downside, I would say repetitive enemies, there's way too many reoccurring enemies and it's just cheap and I think a, a dumb way that they do it. Um, they come way too often, executions should have been switched up a lot better. I there was like maybe two executions throughout the whole game and just those two like you can't even upgrade those it's just over and over and I think that like every time I saw one of those I just felt like I was fighting the same guys and that's pretty much how it is it's repetitive executions repetitive enemies um it's just nothing really fresh other than that one Jedi trick so um the button prompts to, that you have to take down enemies are way too easy it's like A and then five seconds later you push B and it's just, I don't know, the, the button prompts don't really match or feel the way they are when you're taking down, like, somebody, you know, it doesn't really, it just doesn't, it doesn't match, so, yeah, I mean, other than those things, that's about it, cheap enemy AI, um, yeah, repetitive enemies, repetitive execution, that's about it, like, the button prompts and that's it. So it, it's up to you guys. If you guys want to pick it up and start, and you guys are a Star Wars fan, go ahead. If not, um, you know, spend your money on something else. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you later. Oh, this clip. This guy is the only guy in Star Wars that has smoked way too much weed. Look at this guy's fucking eyes. I just thought I'd put that in there before I signed out. So, uh, all right, guys. I'll catch you later.